good morning. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. So after my last video that Jason and I talked to you, I ended up coming down with mastitis. <laughs> Maybe it was in connection with what we talked to you about, which was that we've just been hurrying too much. I don't know. But um, anyway, yesterday I pretty much stayed in bed for most of the day. And Jason and the kids just carried on with the normal routine. They had a regular homeschool day and everything. And I hoped they'd pick up the camera, but that, I guess, isn't part of their... Um, mindset because uh, nobody did which is fine they had a good day and I was able to just lay upstairs and rest and nurse a lot um, took the different vitamins and things that some use some essential oils and I I had just a mild case I had woken up with fever and chills like when I went to bed the night before I was starting to feel pain like a certain area just kind of like pain in that spot and then I woke up with fever and chills like oh no but I'm feeling much better today and I am very grateful for it so I'm going to continue drinking lots of water and taking my vitamins and um, on that that um, spot that I think had a clogged duck I was using lots of lavender oil there and then I was using also warrior oil um, which is a blend that I get from Hopewell Oils. I think their website's just Hopewell Oils, I don't know. I was put that on the bottom of my feet, taking lots of vitamin C, taking extra vitamin D, um, eating fresh garlic all day yesterday, <laughs> although I'm probably gonna have a fussy baby, but that was one of the things recommended. No, 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 no. And um, what else, James? What else? Oh, I did take an oil of oregano which I'll continue doing one of those a day, which is another thing that's kind of strong and might make him a little fussy, but it does a really good job. Okay, James and I are going to make pancakes. Yes, he was like, I'm hoping for sourdough pancakes. Well, actually, he said, I want pancakes, Mommy. And I said, how about it? Because I was wanting some pancakes this morning. And I have lots of sourdough starters, so that's a good idea. Are you going to be my helper? <laughs> He wasn't too thrilled about me um, disappearing all day yesterday. <sighs> but we're here. We made it. So then I'm just going to go around and do some tidying up. Everybody did a great job keeping up with everything yesterday. But, you know, now Mama needs to do her touch on things, too. So that's our morning. And then we're going to get kids up, uh, milk a cow, and get to our schoolwork. James, do you do schoolwork? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's the plan this morning, so we'll take you along with us. Elsie is doing pancakes, so I'm going to go out and help milk. You got this, Elsie? Thank you. Benjamin's going to be a good boy for Bella. Right? Yeah. You going to be a good boy? Bella has to work. So. <laughs> Kids are having their Bible time. Then they're going to do their um, top five, their morning chores. And a couple of them are still sleeping, actually. Um, the little, some, some of the little ones are still sleeping, which is fine. Lydia has been kind of protesting naps, so she did not have one at all yesterday. And still didn't get to bed very early, so she's sleeping in, and I'm glad for it. Yeah, she needs it. Jason already took all the milk stuff out, I think. He's out there ahead of me. Good morning, puppies. You ready to get out and play? Mm-hmm. We got milk first, then we'll play. Okay? Yeah, we'll get you out to play in just a little bit. It is a beautiful morning out here. Beautiful weather. Good morning, April. So I'm spraying on this fly spray. It's like my favorite thing to do because I hate these nasty flies. I fight them in the house and I fight them out here and so I just love spraying them. It's like my aggression against the flies. But we just read this study that was done um, by cattle farmers in Canada. 
and they said that feeding their cows garlic, and they even used just garlic powder, it wasn't even fresh garlic, reduced the flies on the cows by 52%. They did, it was the first like really long detailed study where they actually counted the flies on the cattle out in this big cattle farm up there. So like, all right, bring out the garlic. They said it took a while to take effect. I think it was after a month that they noticed a real big improvement. So I guess it took a while to get through, but here he comes with the garlic. So since we had this fresh garlic, we're just using the fresh. And they said cows don't mind the taste of garlic, so. All right, we'll see what she thinks. This you know what, stuff's, though? This stuff's pretty potent. Breast can stink. It will. <laughs> and you know, um, if they notice the same effect from garlic powder, I don't know. I guess the difference with this is that um, it has other health benefits, too. I thought, I thought it was crunchier. Fresh garlic for cows. We'll see what she thinks about it. I mean, it's pretty potent. Oh, she's sniffing. Oh, she tossed the food out. No she does that anyway that. sometimes, but that was funny. <laughs> she, just, that stuff out of here. she just likes to get crazy with her food. I guess we should start milking you before you're done eating. She's sniffing around. I think she notices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there yeah. the smell is pretty good. Yeah, she's kind of like not sure about this. Maybe we'll have to do the garlic salt. No, not garlic salt. Garlic powder. I keep saying garlic salt, but garlic powder. We might have to do it that way. I gotta put walls on this thing so she can't just... She does. Every day she noses things out. She's just a sloppy eater. Put a bib on you! She's a good girl, though. All right, let's get milking. Here's the update. She ate it all. Good job. Eat your garlic. And gave two full gallons of milk, which is a lot for her right now. Are you doing coconut oil over there? Yep. Got some cuts. Yeah, we've got a calf some. that tends to bite. It's bad. Yeah, although we just found out that you can use a Dremel tool too. File the calf's teeth. Oh. I'll tell Dan. I'm like, look, Dan, I'm a dentist too. <laughs> All right, is she ready to go? Sure. All right, sweetie. <clears throat> Goodbye. Sorry, I need to fill this with somebody else. Renovation <laughs> over. There you go. Can you imagine having two cows to milk? That'll yeah. be us one day. She's not one to budge. She really isn't. This is like her spa treatment, though. She I comes know. in here, <laughs> she gets fly spray, milking. Yeah, she's like not interested. It's like, but you haven't scratched me yet. <gasps> Look at her put her head down. Oh! He came out to visit. Hello, Mr. Benjamin, and you've got your farmer Benjamin overalls on. Oh, how nice. Hi, Otis. Hi, Pepper. <laughs> puppies. Puppies. Babe. Oh, Pepper. Pepper gets annoyed with the puppies. There's Lacey. Go, go, go. There you go. I'll be out. We are going to take a quick walk through the garden before school starts. Bella, how you doing? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the cutest. You know, it's so funny because all the moms come out first, and then the babies are all in the coop, and they all find their own moms. Adorable. Oh, I have a low battery. We'll see how much I can show them before my battery dies. So I haven't been out here in a couple days with our busy weekend and then getting sick. So I have no idea. Bella came out here and weeded a little bit for me. Yeah, so I'm, this bed is almost ready to replant. She's loud. We left just a couple lettuce in here so that we could harvest seeds. And the rest we will replant with something. I'm disappointed about the Brussels sprouts, although, actually looking at it, the bugs ate the leaves, but it seems like the Brussels sprouts are okay. Hmm. 
This is my first year growing Brussels sprouts, so I didn't know what to expect, but they do look like they're doing okay. Maybe they'll be edible after all. How are you doing, Leo? Good. Just getting a breath of fresh air before we start school. Blackberry bushes we've been picking off of for weeks. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. We're getting to the end of... Mom, well, you can put blackberries in Mom, my pocket. Mom, you put blackberries look. in your pocket? Well, they might kind of mush and make stains Mom, look, on your pocket. This is right here. Yeah. That is very interesting. Like, I don't quite understand no, why that balls. one has this big thing there, but this no, is right what it's here. more supposed to... Why are these so much smaller then? Look, see, they're, they're all the way down. Mom, hmm. I, I guess I need to do more reading about this because I'm. Ready? Every day they ask me if the carrots are ready. They're like this big in the top. Yeah, they can still. Sure, go ahead. Oh, look! The white marigolds. Yeah, let James participate, Leo. The white marigolds, these are, I think, Kilimanjaro white marigold seeds from Baker Creek. They're so pretty, they finally opened. The big thing that I check for is, do we have green beans yet? No, these purple uh, green bean vine things just have taken such a long time to make beans. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, those are the munchers. If you want to eat them, they're better small. Mom calls these computers. I, can't, I did it, I think, on camera once. I accidentally called them computers. They're cucumbers. Just in case anyone's wondering, we have not figured out how to grow computers. <laughs> Leo, that could be your... I bet you'd get into farming if we were able to grow computers. I'm picking. I'm picking, I'm picking. Oh, yeah. That one looks like a pickle. The, this half is pickling. Yeah. That half is the munchers. Right here, see the difference in the leaves? Mm -hmm. This is just crazy huge. Look okay, at the size so of this vine. If we have any extras, her cucumbers are doing horrible. And she doesn't, hasn't only got oh, okay. like one. We so can bring her some this week when we go visit Grandma. We would love to have cucumbers. We could bring them over like okay. for eating and stuff. Nice. We can bring our Ours are definitely yeah, taken off. We mom. need to learn how to can. Wouldn't it be wonderful in the winter to be able to have our pickles? We've got the bees on, Mom. Bees? Yeah. Good. As much as we hate wasps, the, the bee guy that we went to said the wasps are really great pollinators. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't like them, though. Yeah. Look at this one, Look mom. at that green bean tower. How are oh, we going to pick all the way up there? Look at this one, How about Mom? this size, Mom? This one. I would leave that a little bit. What There's one under there, side? though. The this one right size? Oh, my, yeah. I bet if you let them go, they could get huge. These vines are huge. I mean, what is this? I know. Some people like... This is a green bean, but it's just taking ages to actually make beans. No, I think it's the climbing ones that take longer. They take longer, I guess. I feel like I've said our, this for weeks. Our bush beans are already there, but the different kind of climbing you beans... You can't even see where that pole is. I know. Okay, well, Mom... Hi, Jeremiah. You know, some people like, um, when they're big, like, they, oh, look at how big this cucumber is, but it actually gets really sour. Like, right. We can let it go to get yeah, really big. Yeah, we don't want to do that. It's yucky. We like tender. We have been eating so many pickles, refrigerator pickles. There's the bunnies. Hello, bunnies. Oh, yeah, they need to be moved. They need to be moved. Yep, they do. <laughs> now you are Farmer James. Oh, they're so cute. Actually, we're keeping one of these for yeah. Daddy. Ow! Give me. <laughs> Ow! Careful! Stop Don't step me. on my zinnias. Mom, my dad. We are back in the house. What are you doing, Lydia? Doing. Yeah. My goal um, in the mornings after we do our morning chores is uh, we don't start our schoolwork or sit down schoolwork till ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. That way, everybody has time to do a little something else in the morning. Oh, here comes James. James, you ready to do your schoolwork? Yep. You went to the store. What are we on? 
Let's see. What are we on? Oh, did you do this yesterday with Papa? No, with Bella. Oh, Bella helped you? Yeah. That's very good. Can you look on? Yeah, I want to say. You need to put a sticker on it. And you did the sheep. You started doing the sheep. Now you need to finish the sheep. See, you only went to there. You need to finish the rest of the sheep. Yeah, Papa's said stop. Thank you. What are you going to do? Be out of trouble? Elsie's working on some language arts things with her gorgeous hair. How'd you get your hair so fancy? You you put it in a braid, Mom. That went on, you put it in a half French braid. Oh, yeah, look. A French braid, she did the top part a French braid, but left the bottom part not a French braid. And I kept that in I kept that in it um, for like two days because I just didn't want to take mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. And Liddy has some scissors. <laughs> and no, uh, Mom. Let's get a paper, Mama. Go get a paper, Mom. I'll help you cut. Okay? You want to cut? Paper. Paper. <laughs> and then when Mama. I undid it, I undid it last night. And, and then it turned out wavy. Mom. Beautiful. Yeah, I want you to do that more often, Mom. Yeah. Just kept it in for two days. Cucumbers? Yeah. Yep. 